Spell Force 3 is a hybrid genre game that features both a hero-focused RPG game and RTS gameplay that is about building a base and an army. That might sound complex to control, especially on a controller, so we thought about giving you a short introduction to the controls with a controller in Spell Force 3. Command your hero and entire armies with a mere push of a button. A good view of the battlefield is the most important part for any general. In Spell Force 3, you can control the camera's position by moving the left stick on your controller. To zoom in or out, simply move the right stick up or down. To rotate it, move it left or right. Take command over your army by hovering over a building or unit like this scout here. Press cross to select him and triangle to give your scout a movement command to the desired location. If you prefer it the other way around, you can swap the select and issue command buttons by opening the options menu and checking the corresponding option under controls. To command multiple units or entire armies, press and hold the select button cross. This creates an expanding selection circle around your cursor as long as you press the button. Let go of it and all units and or buildings inside of it are selected. Battles tend to get messy and stressful making every second count. That's why we've also added some shortcuts to select some parts of your army more quickly. Press the right stick to instantly select your hero party. Press it twice to also center the camera on your hero's location. If one squad is not enough, double pressing cross will select your entire army. Your most important commands in Spell Force 3 can be issued via radio menus. These menus change based on context, providing different commands depending on the currently hovered object. To issue a command, simply select the unit you want to command, hover over the target of your command, and open a radio menu with the two L and R buttons of your controller. In the bottom right of your screen, you can see a few hints of the currently available inputs, depending on what you have currently hovered, selected, or which radio menu you have open. Let's have a look at the construction of your war camps. To build a woodcutter, move your cursor next to a forest area, and press and hold L2 and cycle through the available buildings with your left stick. Confirm your selection by pressing cross and place the building at a viable location around your cursor. Supplying an army can be tricky. You should also build a second woodcutter, a hunting cabin, and a stone cutter. Many buildings in Spell Force 3 need workers. Adjust the number of workers for each building by hovering over it and pressing directional button down to remove a worker or directional button up to add one. Some of those structures allow you to train units or research new technologies. Probably the most important of those buildings is the Godstone, which serves a variety of purposes. For now, let's focus on recruiting a hero. Hover over the Godstone, press and hold L1, and choose one of the two available heroes to support your army. Your hero helps you invade neutral or enemy territory. Select your hero and command them to conquer the nearest sector by hovering over its center and pressing the Issue Command button, which is Triangle by default. Congratulations, General! You have just conquered your first sector. Now you can hover over your flag, press and hold L1, and select to upgrade it to an outpost. New sectors are necessary to supply your growing army. Make sure to build another stone cutter and hunting cabin to ramp up your resource production. In your next sector, you can now build barracks to train the basic units of your faction. Hover over your barracks and press and hold L1 to recruit more units. Now it's time to spread your influence. Conquer sector after sector until your enemy's capital falls before you. You are ready, General.